This one might be a little bit controversial because I will be opening a birch box. Now, full disclosure, I paid $5 for this box. That is the only reason I tried it. I saw that there was a deal to get this for $5 and I snagged it just to see, just to see if they were still scamming folks. Now, if y'all don't know, birch box ran out on a plug. There was like a really big issue where people had bought boxes and they just weren't receiving them, but they were still getting charged. It was like all true, okay? There's a big old scammy scam that scammed. They've come under new ownership as well as All True. All True got new ownership as well. The same company, I think, which is Beachley. I think that's what the company's called. Maybe. Beach something. Something with the beach. And apparently, they're not scamming anymore. So I... <laughs> was surprised, pleasantly surprised, when this arrived at my doorstep. I was half expecting not to get anything because of the controversy that I heard. But it did arrive in the mail. They did charge me for next month. So depending on how I like this box and depending on how I like the next one, we'll decide if I wanna keep this subscription or not, but we will see. But y'all, let's go ahead and get into this box. When you open her up, this is what she looks like. Okay, this is cute. This is a cute little booklet. Does it tell us information we care about? No, it doesn't tell you anything of any importance unless these are the items that you got. I don't see any prices. So this booklet just tells you how to use certain things if you even got those things. It's okay, but they include a cute little booklet. The first thing that I'm pulling out is a foil packet. I hate foil packets. And this is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Global Anti-Aging Cell Powered Cream. And it's just a little, little packet. You get one use out of this. It's just like one of those little free things they throw in your bag when you make a purchase at Macy's or JCPenney. So, I mean, it is what it is. Hopefully the other items in here are a lot better than this. Because if it's all like this, then it's a scam, okay? They scamming you if this is all you get. The next thing, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I hate these little crinkle papers. These little crinkle papers are annoying. Those are like the worst thing you can possibly like use for packing. I'm just saying, they're cute to look at, but I don't like them. <laughs> the next thing were these little scrunchy situations. They seem like really good quality. They're pretty stretchy. And this is from the bland, bland. This is from the brand. I Ashana, Ashana, London. I don't know how to say this correctly. I don't know. <laughs> and it's just some cute little, cute little whatchamacallits. I would wear a scrunchie, okay? I would wear a scrunchie. Maybe once I, if I get those braids again, I'll use these scrunchies to kind of pull my hair back. But I do prefer scrunchies over hair clips, okay? I don't like hair clips. But these feel, these feel decent. They're nothing too crazy. Nothing to really write home about. Cute to have. I will definitely pop these in the washing machine before I actually use them in my hair. Um, just because you, you never know where they've been. They've been dusty. The next thing I'm pulling out is so itty bitty. It's ridiculous. Bruh. This is the Lord and Berry, and I think this is a lip pencil. And this, no, maybe this is an eye pencil because it's in the color Travel Black. So I'm guessing this is a eye pencil. And it's just so itty bitty. Look at that. That is so freaking tiny. Let's see how she draws. Oh, she's very creamy. I will say that she's very creamy. That went on so easily, just like a dream. And I mean, it's opaque enough. I mean, yeah, this is okay. <sighs> this is so itty bitty as well. It's a little dirty. It's a little dirty looking. This is the Georgette Klinger Charcoal Cleansing Gel. And it's just like a little cleansing mask gel thingy, I guess. Let's see, is it safety sealed? Yes. We have a safety seal, which is nice. Ooh, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open that. I'm gonna just let that do what it do because it's, it's jet black. Let's just kind of rub that in right there. Okay, so it's just like a charcoal cleansing gel. Um, You just kind of put this on your face, rinse it off, it's just, Cleansing gel. Never really gotten to the charcoal hype outside of like charcoal toothbrush. Not toothbrush, toothpaste. I've used the charcoal toothpaste before, but I mean, I've never tried a charcoal like cleansing mask or cleansing gel, I don't know. We'll give this a try. It's just, it's so small. Granted, I paid $5, but you would typically be paying $20 for these itty bitty little things, which I think is robbery, okay? I think that is plain old robbery, but hopefully there's there's some other things in here that'll make up for this foolishness that we've received so far. But I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off really quick and I'll be right back. And I'm back. 
Okay, I done rinsed all that off. I will say that eyeliner rinsed right off. It was just, it was like, whoop, okay, I'm out. It did not like hold up at all. All right, and I'm guessing this is the last thing in here. Hopefully this is a full size item. These sizes are, are blowing me. This is by Laritzi Cosmetics and this is a shade stick and it is in the color Ohana. And this is what it looks like. This might be full size. I think this is like a contour stick. Yeah, I think this is full size, but this is what it looks like once you take her out. This is the contour stick. So you get this much. This is about the same amount that I got with my um, pink lips. So yeah, this is pretty nice. Ooh, okay, that is nice. This is actually pretty nice. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. So yeah, this will be nice. I'll definitely give this a try out um, during my next try on when I, you know, put makeup on my face. I won't be putting makeup on my face until I get these little things off, uh, which will probably be later on tomorrow. Plus see how it blends out. See if I can blend it out with my hand. So, I mean, it's blendable. It doesn't look patchy or anything like that. Obviously, it'll blend better like with a brush or a makeup sponge, but it seems like it does the job. <laughs> okay, it gets the job done. But y'all, that was everything in my birch box. I'm happy about this. I think this is nice. I do like these. Okay, I do like these. Other than that, what is there to say? What is there to say? This is not an exciting box. I would say that. I was not excited when I pulled anything out. Well, I was excited when I pulled this out. Other than that, meh. This was just meh. Granted, I only paid $5 for this one, but the box is typically $20. If I were presented with these items and was told, hey, I will give these to you for $20, would I take it? No, absolutely not. I would be like, go find another sucker that'll buy this for $20. I mean, they already took the other $20 out of my account. So what, what I'll do, is I'm going to go ahead and let that other one ship since I've already paid for it and I don't want to get scammed. So once it ships, I'm going to go ahead and cancel my subscription. Unless that new box is just everything I've always dreamed of, then I'll maybe resubscribe it. But first impression, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Ipsy, Allure, all these other boxes, ice cream has this beat by a long shot. Even the Macy's one, which is cheaper, has this beat by a long shot so I'm good. I'm probably gonna just go ahead and cancel it. Plus they're not even giving you like the cute birch boxes that they used to give you. All these boxes are the same. You know when I would watch other people unbox birch boxes they would always have these really cute unique boxes every single month. Now it's just like a standardized box. I just I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. If you like this content you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fey Bay. and I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.